Hi, my name's Nick Davis from Nick Davis Sports Psychology, and today I'm joined with my uh, friend Richie Gent. Um, so, Richie, I'd like you to just um, tell me a brief history about uh, what you've accomplished and what you've done in your boxing career and, and what you're doing now. Uh, well, I started off um, walking into the gym after a bit of a, a bad, uh, a bad few years out of uh, out of school on the streets. Uh, got myself in a bit of trouble with the police. Police recommended that I. Uh, I did take up boxing, which my dad took me to the uh, Priory Park Amateur Boxing Club, um, and then never looked back. Been in the sport uh, now for 14 years. Yeah, yeah. so you boxed as an amateur, and then yeah. you turned over to pro, did that? So you had 30, yeah. I think it was 37 amateur fights. I started pretty late, I think 15 when I had my first one. Yeah. Um, done reasonably well. Um, fast track, to be honest. I think I was chucked in the deep end with some good lads as an amateur, which really helped my pedigree for when I did turn pro. Um, turn pro at the age of 19, I only had, um, I only had six pro fights, decided to give it up and beat him after winning the International Masters title. Really? A um, bit of a promoter's title to be honest, but it's still a title for every waist. Um, and then moved on to concentrate more on personal training. Yeah. Um, there wasn't that much money in the professional game, so I wanted to focus on, on a path in my life, but still, uh, boxing there for me and yeah. personal training. And now you're a professional boxing coach. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and how have you done with that? Um, really, really well. I've, I've worked with Paul Goff for a number of years. Um, we done. We had the likes of Ryan Aston, my brother Tom again when he first started. Um, Ricky Summers was also at the gym at the time. Um, Lance Brooks. We had some, a really good, uh, good stable, and I helped Paul with yeah. them. So I was learning off Paul. Um, and then I thought the time's right, January this year, I set up my own, my own stable for my own pros. Brilliant, and the big show that you had uh, recently was um, Ricky Summers against Frank Puglioni. Yeah. Yeah, what a fight. A great fight, great fight. Um, I think Ricky showed that he's at that elite level. He uh, came out and all guns blazing, gave it his all, took a few big shots, walked through. I think he just showed everyone that he's, uh, he's in the light heavyweight party in that mix. Brilliant. So, um, <clears throat> what are your hopes for the future with the gym? And you've got a stable of how many pros here now? Um, seven pros. Um, the boxing side of things for the gym, I'm, I'm looking at carrying on building a stable. I don't want, don't want too many more fighters now. I want to keep it at ten so they can all have, they can all have the, the fair share of good quality pad work, and we can concentrate on them uh, individually. As well. um, so I'm looking at keeping that progressing, um, getting bigger fights for the lads. That have. My target is to uh, to push on, get some area champions, and then take it further, step by step. Get the English, get the British. Do just do it the right way. Um, yeah. And then, as the gym itself as a business, uh, it's been running 12, 12 months. Um, next one. And what's the name of the business? For RG, those RG Box Fit. Yeah. Brilliant. So, <clears throat> in terms of what you've achieved uh, in your still early days in your career, you know, from amateur to pro to now professional boxing coach with an expanding gym, how important do you think is it to get the mental side of things right in terms of A, boxing, but B, in terms of your career and your goals and things like that? Well, I think it, it, over the years it's getting, there's, you need certain tools in all different types of sports. I think there's one tool missing, and that's the mind. Um, like I said, I've saw a few courses before, I've saw a few videos and I know that in America them them big on it. Okay, so them they actually work with the mind as a tool and I think it's a massive, massive part of mm. sports uh, professionals yeah. training and they need to start training the mind and getting fully focused, whether they can turn a negative into a positive, how to deal with pressure, just little things like that can make a massive uh, difference Brilliant. on the performance on the night. Brilliant, thanks Richie. Uh, and last question, uh, this is for the people watching the videos. Obviously it's not all been plain sailing in your career and everything else as we know with, with boxing and life in general, you know, um, we all look at people who are successful and think, oh they've had it easy, but obviously we know different, you know, we, we all have a struggle. So what advice would you have <coughs> for the people watching this video who may be struggling with their boxing career, martial arts or the goals or just trying to get ahead in life, what advice would you give them? The biggest, the best bit of advice I received, um, probably about five years ago, was don't give up. Mm. Um, one of my clients, successful business uh, businessman Bruce Thompson, like a good child, he, uh, I can remember him saying to me during during a PT session, don't give up, just keep following your dreams. He said, if you keep working hard and you keep going, things will fall in place. And he's the first person that opened my mind, my uh, my vision up for the mindset, having a different mindset, writing down goals. 
And then when I started writing down them goals and visualising them, I started to achieve them. Mm. And that's why I come over to yourself and oh, yeah. I'm intrigued to learn more. So the best advice I'd say really is don't give up at following your dreams and what you want to do. Brilliant. So. Brilliant. Thanks a lot for your time. Great Thank to see you, you again. Take, Take care. Cheers.